the hell is it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. First things first, we're starting off with the bank bonds. I got pooped on. I got pooped on. You got shat on. We're moving the turkeys, boys. Okay. Look at these guys. Look at the bank. Oh, look, oh, look. oh, he's pooped. Good, good, good dodge. This one's chill. Hi, buddy. We are moving the turkeys finally. We're going to put them in the same pen as the duck, mainly because this thing is ultra reinforced with this stuff. Plus, the turkeys, I think, will sleep up on top. Millie, stay out. You stay out. You stay out. I know. Go ahead, go in. Single file. All right, Millie, stay out. So I think the turkeys will do well because they've got the duck enclosure basically to sleep on top of. So like right here, they love perching. So like they'll be completely out of the way of the ducks. They'll sh oh, yeah, you got, yeah, you got shat on. Over. Rip. But they've got their food. We need to clean out that water. That water's not looking too bad. Clean that one out. So we've got four ducks. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the new enclosure. Predator-proof enclosure. We haven't had any issues yet. Um, And so we figured these turkeys, it's one, it's really warm outside now. It's not freezing at night. Plus, if they sleep with the ducks or even together they should be nice and warm they've got these feathers i think i think that's about all they need i don't i could be wrong but i mean i'm gonna come check on them make sure they're not like freezing to death out here but we're, we want to let them live together because like i said this side this panel right here is reinforced that one's got a little hole in it we're gonna try to get them to live together this is plenty big space for them that way that leaves this enclosure completely open for whatever we want to get next if we want it to be pheasant or quail or something else that way like you only take up one enclosure for for both of these guys again because they can share their water share their food and i think they're gonna love it because they love being perched up and oh i was wondering where the other duck is oh chill chill hey chill calm calm down millie you're not really helping buddy this is i think this is they're gonna love it up here they can stay dude they just stand up out of the way they're just like little pterodactyls we can even put why don't we put a little feeder up up on top and then that way they don't have to necessarily jump down if they don't want to. what are you guys are you going in the bubble bath would you guys just relax what have we ever done you would think like we abuse these ducks We've done nothing but care for them. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna go. We're gonna grab a little feeder, stick it up on top of here. Um, water, I'm not really too concerned about. I mean, we could take that water. There's two good waters right there we could take. But basically, we're rehoming the turkeys today. Um, we need to go check them traps just to make sure that we don't have any more predators that are caught. Then we gotta go feed all the big animals. They're in the, the the baby. Look at the baby. Can you guys see the baby? She's up in the feeder. Way up in the feeder. <sighs> Absolutely. Just ridiculous. They're always just causing causing issues, causing drama. Anyways, let's go uh let's go check them traps. Alright, Millie. Go check them traps for us. You let us know if we have anything. Nothing there. Uh oh, I don't see a golf ball on that one. Uh-oh. I think a raccoon might have stole the golf ball. They always do that. They love playing golf. What the how'd they knock this up? There's a little bit of food still. What is that? What's wrong? What is it? Where? Oh, in the tree. Yeah, he was on the ground right behind you. Oh god. Turkey vultures. Alright, nothing in that one. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. Nothing in that one. Nothing in this one. What happened to this golf ball? Did we we put one on this one, right? Yeah. Oh, what are you? What up, Panifer? For one of the common shows. How's it going, buddy? I'm telling you, they steal the golf you balls seen, for look, no reason. What do you do? Someone touched our balls. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, bro. It's funny. This kid's killing it. So the question is, what happened to our balls? Real talk. Yeah, like, like, oh, God, oh, chill, God. chill. Good, Millie. Millie, calm down. Well, no ball on this one. No raccoons, which again, good thing. It's a good thing that we aren't catching anything as long as we're not. We haven't had any more casualties, knock on wood. Hennifer, you, you are going to be here for like the next like at least century or two. You're never going to die. You, you are just, True. you're immortal. You're, you're always just going to kill those uh, raccoons and stuff, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, all right, anyways, uh, check the traps. Everything's good. We need to get another golf ball in this guy because I don't see it anywhere. The golf ball trick also is for, so mice don't crawl in there and eat the food. Um, The golf ball pretty much prevents the mice from getting in there in case you guys are curious why we're doing that. Time to go feed all the big animals. How's it going, sheep? What up, Larry? What you doing, big guy? Drake, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Calm down. How's it going, Dale? How's it going, Felicia? Felicia, you don't want pet. Since when you don't want pet Felicia? How's it going, Tiffany? You guys want some food? Cow! Hey, you guys, the cow can move in case you guys are curious. Um, all right, well, get these guys fed. Look, the baby's still in the feet. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing over there? Karen, what is she doing? Does she know how to get down, Karen? Oh, God, please don't. Oh, oh God, God, please don't. Listen, oh, cheese and oh. rice. She's good. All that right. baby, that baby's like as big as those other ones. I know, and she's a beast. She's a beast. <laughs> you killing it, Bonzo? I did this by myself the other day. Yeah. You gotta lean into the fence. Yeah. Oh, Dale? You got some hay, buddy. Dale, watch out. This is gonna. You ready for this? Damn. See, that's how you do it by yourself. I had to do it a couple days ago, and I'm I was impressed. like, I really don't want to go in the fence. That's all you gotta do. Anyways, these guys need some grain. There you go. All right. There you have it, folks. Everything's got grain. We're thinking today, well, we need to go check on the pond. We just did that. We're thinking. All you guys have been commenting, take Dale fishing. Actually, zero people have commented that. But I figured you guys might enjoy it. So after these guys get some food, 
We want to make sure Dale's well nourished. We're going to go check on the pond, make sure that's good, check on Rick and all that. And then we're going to try to get Dale down to the pond. We're not really sure how to do that. It's, I would say it's probably like between half and three quarters of a mile from like where we are now down to the pond. It's not, it's not a, a short jaunt by any means. We're going to let him get some food and then he's been hanging out with us pretty much every day. So I feel like I could trust him. He's not going to run away or anything. We're going to try to take him fishing today and see what he thinks of a fish, him and Millie. They're going to be partners. We're going to have a 2v2. It's going to be me and Bonzo versus Dale and Millie in a 2v2 bass fishing tournament. So you guys stay tuned. Dale, you ready to go fishing, buddy? Cheese and rice. Ooh, we lost that. All right, we're good. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. All right, Dale, you got to get in the mule. We got to go fishing, buddy. Dale, you ready to go, buddy? Hey, hey. You and Millie got to You guys are on the same team today. It's a 2v2 bass fishing tournament, all right? You and Millie versus me and Bonzo. Hey. Hey, hey Millie. Millie. All right, Dale. You, do you want to see if he'll just get in the mule? Yeah. Come on, Dale. Hey, let's go. Millie. In the mule. Come on. Vamanos, amigo. Up in the mule. Oh, yeah. Up in the mill. Come on. Come on. Oh, snap. Oh, go to the other side. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. Dale. We're Dale. Dale, we're going fishing, Dale. Come on, boy. I'm getting his butt stuck. Oh, he's, a, he's a wide load, man. <laughs> he's got he's got his ass is sticking out. Sitting <laughs> like this. There we're go, good. Boy. He'll be all right. I'll make sure he doesn't fall. Oh, yeah. Out. He, no, he's got right. Oh, he's, oh, he's getting up. Here you go. Climb up there. Come on. Grab climb. his other back leg and we can Millie, climb him up here. quit. Leave him alone. Come on. Help him climb. There you go. There you go, Dale. All right, Dale. Sit down. Sit. Dale, sit. Sit. Do, they, do, do goats sit like dogs? Oh, he's about to. All right, he might just have to hang out like that. Millie, sit down. You're good, Dale. Dale Dale's coming fishing with us, all right? <laughs> what up, Dale? <laughs> How's it going, buddy? We've got Millie and Dale. Dale's just chilling back here. I swear, if you poop on me no while we're riding. Hey, no pooping. You can bite Hooken's ears, though. That's allowed. Yeah, you, you, like you little kinky boy. All right, here we go. Hold on, Dale. We're climbing the hill. Hold on, Dale. He's oh, no coming. <laughs> Come on, Dale. Woo. Yeah, All right. Well, Dale escaped. Well, Hookin's like, should I get my arm? I'm like, yeah, just don't let Dale out. Just let's Dale out. <laughs> All right, we're good. Dale, we're at the pond, buddy. You might want to let him out your way there. Dale, come here. Go ahead, hop this out. First time he's ever even been here. Come on, Dale. Come on, boy. Come on, Dale. We got to rip lips, buddy. Come on. There you go, good dog. That's such a good look at him wagging his tail. Yeah. He's so happy. <laughs> Tony, he's a dog, man. Millie, you be nice. You guys are on the same team, all right? Hey, you be nice. We've got something special for you guys. We have Dale Cam, Dale POV. Everybody wants Dale POV, so we've got a uh, special GoPro harness that so we're gonna rig up on him. That way, you guys get to see basically what he gets into the entire time while we're down here. Millie, calm down. And uh, then I'm gonna be wrapping a GoPro, and we're all gonna be fishing, and hopefully Dale can rip some lips. All right, Dale. Here we go, buddy. Hey, quit eating my, quit eating the merch. We're almost done, Dale. You're doing good, buddy. Dale's, Dale's off. Is it tight enough? Yeah, oh yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Put a GoPro on my goat. Look at that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we got Dale. We got Dale Cam. We're gonna start ripping lips here. Look at him. This is hilarious. What is he doing? <laughs> All right, he's rigged up. We're gonna get some. Uh, we're gonna get some bait tied on. All right, first bait I'm tying on. This is the Guggen Squad Zinger. It's a spinner bait. We've got some nice overcast, cloudy conditions, which is ideal for spinner baits. But if you guys want any fishing lures at all, anything at all, get them linked down below at Carl's Bait and Tackle. You can get everything that's on there up to 30% off if you are a member. So go sign up, click the link. They've got Guggen baits and a ton more, thousands and thousands more rods, reels, lines, or anything you need for possibly for fishing. It'll be linked down below. I said up to 30% off if you're a member. So click the link down below and go sign up and get yourself geared up for spring fishing. But I'm gonna get this thing tied on and see if we can catch a fish. All right, here we go, folks. The old spinner bait. Dale, you caught anything yet? Dale's like, I just eaten a lot of grass. That's about it. All right, sorry for the wind noise in advance. It's probably gonna be brutal, but uh, it's pretty much blown right down the valley here. So you guys aren't probably gonna hear much. We're gonna see if we can catch fish here. There's one first cast. Get out of here. Dale, we're hooked up, Dale. Oh yeah, on the spinner bait. First cast. Get out of here, folks. Shoo, look at it. Dale, Dale, come look at it. Hey, it's the first catch. Dale, 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 Dale. Stop, turn. Dale, look. Look, Dale, what is this? You see the largey? He does hey, not care. you want this? What do you think that is? Look, it's a little largemouth. You ever seen a fish before, it's a Dale? fish. You want to give him a kiss? Dale, what? Are you not interested, Dale? 
All right, I'll show the Dale cam. Here you go, guys. Hooked up. First fish of the day, first cast. All right, Dale. You're down. 1-0. You're losing, so you better you better catch up. Anyways, first fish on the zinger, first cast. Absolute beauty. All right, see you later, dude. Boom. And just like that, hooking took my spot. Classic. So you guys might be wondering, hey, how do you throw the Guggen Squad zinger? Well, you throw it out there. You slowly reel. You can do a couple pops and pauses if you'd like, but it pretty much just catches the fish for you. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, it's got some nice flash, really hard vibration. I mean, it almost feels like a bladed jig at this point um, when, when you're reeling it in and stuff. So throw it out there. I try to just go nice and slow. There's no real reason to like speed it up right now. It's like they're chasing shad or anything. I think the slower, the better. Just get it in front of that fish's face. He said you can do a couple pops and pauses to make it look like it's a wounded bluegill of some kind. Um, that's pretty much it. Just chuck. I mean, if you're throwing it like out in the middle of the, Dale, I about hooked you. If you're throwing it out in the middle of the pond like that, it's about 11 feet right there. You know, maybe give it like five, six Mississippis to sink down. That way it's at least kind of in the middle of the water column. And then you can start, keep your rod tip nice and low if you're fishing a little bit deeper. Nice and low, low and slow. And that's how you catch fish. Dale, you got any tips for everybody? All right, Doug. Hey, quit beefing with him. What are you guys doing? Hey, I thought you guys were supposed to be on the same team. Dale, you want to be on my team now? All right, D Dale's on my team. Millie, Millie's on Bonzo and Hookin' team. So you guys, Bonzo, Hookin', and Millie versus me and Dale. Milk Toast team. Yeah, Milk Toast Squad is what it is. Because Dale, Dale's hanging out with me. He doesn't He doesn't really want to hang out with you guys, so he'll be on my team for now. Dale, you catch anything yet? All right, Doug. There's one. Yup, yup. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. He came back, folks. There we go. Ew! Right there. Sheep. Dale, you're why are you on the other team, Dale? Yeah, that's right, Dale. Dale, what? Dale banning me. Dale's on team Bonzo, I guess. He's just I guess he's just going back and forth. He Dale doesn't know though that I just caught another fish. So if he would have known, he would have known to stay on uh, on my team if he really wanted to win this competition. But him and Bonzo, I guess, are gonna go hang out. Hey, fish number two on the zinger, and uh so far, two zero. You got one? Oh, Hogan's hooked up. Woo! On the trench hog. He hit it right at the shore, like five feet out there. Oh, little chunky dude there. See you, buddy. All right, so score's two to one. Andrew's got two. Team, what are we, Team Milk Toast? Team Milk Toast has got one. See if we can tie it up here. All right, I am moving spots, folks. So far, I'm in the lead, two one. Um, we're, we put a little time limit on this guy. We've only got about 10 minutes left and uh, oh, Creek's flowing pretty good And so I need to I need to seal the deal if I say if I catch one more fish There's no way those them boys are gonna catch up. Dale. I haven't seen he's missed a few bites But I haven't seen him land any yet. So I think I've got this one in the bag. I just need to catch one more fish Here comes Dale Dale, what are you doing? <laughs> Dale, <laughs> cheese and rice Dale where are you going? Well, Dale and Hookin are over here stealing my spot. Hey, look at them. Oh, and Melee. All right, folks, here we go. We're making a switch. Hookin right now is currently in Narnia uh, with Millie and Dale. And so I'm gonna switch it up. I was throwing the, the zinger and I caught fish, but haven't had any bites for a little bit. So I'm gonna switch to a lipless crank. But you can see this box is completely jam packed full of delicious looking goons, quite a hard bait. This time of year, yeah, a red color works really well. Um, I've seen that do work, but I've also been catching a lot of them on flat bangers and kind of like a sexy shad color like this guy. So that's exactly what I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna catch him on the flat banger, but this guy being able to cast into this wind is gonna be crucial to get it further out than what I've been fishing. Cause I've been basically beating, beating up the same area over and over. So this will give me some more distance and it's gonna get a lot of sound. Right now it's really windy. So there's a lot of disturbance on the water surface. So having something with rattles like this is going to attract the fish more so than even, even a, a spinner bait, which has a lot of vibration as well. This has rattle, so it's more audible than it is than it is anything. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing tied on. Like I said, we've we just need to catch one more fish. We we extended the time limit. We just we said next fish basically is gonna win. Um, so that needs to be me. First cast, baby. Dale, we got him. We got him, Dale. Yup. 
Look at that, Dale. Look at that, Dale. He choked it. So hardy. You like that? Say goodbye, Dale. See you, buddy. Oh, he came off. We had another one, Dale. There we go. We got another one, Dale. Look at that, boy. Dale, look. You're the worst cameraman I could ever have. Come on. Got to get a shot of this, Dale. There you go. Look at that. There's Dale's PB right there. Dale, what the heck? How did you make that comeback? I don't understand. You and hooking over there. Dude, me and Dale were slaying. You guys murked. Good we go. were slaying, dude. What? I don't know how he. Had, I don't know. I thought I had it in the bag, folks. Is Dale gonna be a new camera guy? Yeah, I'm hiring him. You're hiring Dale. Yeah, he's he's pretty cheap. Grain. He's like he's like a scoop yeah. of, super, scoop of grain a day. It's really not that bad. Good rate. But uh, Dale and hooking, I'll give it to you guys. You guys won. We changed teams 19 times, but it pretty much ended up being Millie, Dale, and hooking versus me and Bonzo. And well, we just. Bonzo had a couple hooked. I had a couple hooked, but we're pretty much garbage. I you got a good one over there. You, did you catch a big one? It, it was all right. You, did Dale weigh up for you or? Uh, no. No. He gave me a rough estimate. He he, he eyeballed it. Yeah, yeah. I say it was. What, what was, was like he? Two point three. Two point three. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll believe it. He's dude. He's panting. You you were running like crazy, big <laughs> did guy. Did he take off? Over yeah, there? dude. He's just he's <laughs> just he's hauling. If you guys want to see us take Dale fishing more often, let us know. Like. I, it couldn't have gone any better. He jumped right in the mule. Look at him. He's just hanging out. Good luck. He doesn't. He he didn't even like run away from you. You were up there. He literally sat there and filmed oh, for you the yeah. entire time. He's just like, oh yeah, I'll be your camera guy. <laughs> so he just like stood on the hill, filmed for hooking. Millie was up there. He was just hanging out. If you guys want us to see Dale uh, go fishing more often, let us know. We could take him trapping. We could take him pheasant hunting, duck hunting. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like he's good for just about anything at this point. He's he's pretty. Much, oh, chill. Oh. I saw him. He just tried to he just tried to bite your face. You ready to go home? We'll give you a little bit of grain and some water, huh? You're you're tired, I'm sure. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Dale took the dub on the first bass fishing tournament. Like I said, if you guys want to see any other videos with Dale, let us know in the comment section down below. And remember, anything you want, any of the fishing gear, including what Hookin caught his fish on, go to shopcarls.com. It'll be linked down below. You can get up to 30% off anything that's on the site if you guys are a Carl's member. Link down below. Go check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.